Is this to all of you that's stuck at home? I know it's hard. I know it's difficult at times. I know that this is an unseen enemy and everything that we used to is those enemies that come at us from the front. I know that it's very difficult to fight, but the truth is we all got to fight together if, if we want to succeed with this. And I'm not joking, I am serious. I don't want you to just sit at home and be bored. I don't want my kids to just sit there at home and drive their parents nuts. So what we will try to do here is we'll try to give you some exercise to do at home. We'll try to give you some maybe stories. Maybe we'll take this camera out of here along the time and take it out to the woods or do other exercise I do myself just to keep me sane in all of this. Because just like you, I really need physical activity and I need, really need it. Not just because I believe that it's important for us to, to be involved in it because it makes us feel good. I do believe strongly that physical activity will boost our immune system, will help, will help our, our souls to be in a much better place to fight, will help us to stay much more calm, and it is important right now in these days to be a lot more relaxed and a lot more calm. Okay, so what we're gonna do here today I'm going to get Adam over here. You all know him class, from class or from the school just as well as you know me. He's going to give you a little bit of a warm-up. He'll get you stretched. He'll get you sweaty. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going to work with you on some strikes. I'll give you some details. I'll get you going. And maybe by the time you're going to come back here, you're going to be so proficient with your punches. I don't know. But here, Adam's going to come and work out with you a little bit. Come on, Adam. All right, guys, so as Ron said, we want to get you up off your feet, get the blood flowing, and hopefully you get some, some energy going on in your house. So make sure that you got plenty enough space to, to move around a bit, watch lamps and all these things you don't want to break stuff. Uh, but just nice and easy, go ahead and find some space, and let's start hopping around a little bit. Careful on rugs in case they slip or anything. So again, you know, make the uh, modifications you need to. And again, if you have any injury, shoulders, any of this stuff, make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Um, again, as we go, I'll try to make this a little bit more complex for those who want a harder workout. You can always just keep redoing the exact same thing and uh, you know, go at your own pace. Uh, let's bring the knees up just a little bit. Right? And again, go at your own pace. If you need some time to get the limbs ready for this, you can just kind of raise the knees nice and easy. But if, again, looking for that heart rate, let's pick them up. That's right. Big, deep breath into the nose. Try to control your breathing as you go through this. Let's raise the heels up a bit again. Careful on the stretching of the knees. But the idea is generally to try to get those heels up closer to your butt. And stay up a bit as you're jogging in place. Again, a big deep breath, try to control it. Let's go open close. Give yourself a little bit of a hug. And cross your legs in the front and back. And let's go forward and back. Again, try to get a little bit of a stretch in your hips and shoulders. And let's go right away to some jumping jacks. And to the nose, out to the mouth. Let's keep moving for five seconds. And two legs side by side, put the weight in your heel, hands are up by your face. I'm just going to squat low. And again, try to keep my back nice and straight, eyes to the ceiling. As I go down, similar to sitting in a chair. Just keeping the posture nice and straight, hands up, eyes a bit towards the ceiling, back is straight. Let's hold it down here. So sitting nice and low, again, keeping the weight in your heels, eyes forward, back's nice and straight, hands are up. You can kind of lean back a little bit, curl my toes up. Just keep that posture nice and, nice and firm. And keep going, right? So a little lower. I'm just gonna go until I get tired. If you gotta stop, let's, you know. Five seconds. 
Right away, let's go into a hop and try to land nice and quiet. Oh, we got neighbors sitting down there. Right, nice and easy landing right away with the squat. Balls of the foot down to the heel, explode back up. Five more seconds. Now let's open the legs up with a nice big stretch uh, out into a forward lunge. Again, trying to keep the hands up. As soon as my foot touches the ground, get a nice deep bend, explode back to that starting position. Let's take it to the rear, so same thing. Stepping backwards, lowering the knee nice and easy to the ground. Go as low as you have to, as much as you can. When I do this, I step a little bit out to the side a bit too, for stabilization. And off to the side, use a hand here, drop yourself lower a bit, and try to open your hips up. I like to point my toes up. This might be a little bit more challenging with space, but do the best you can. If any of these are too much, again, you can just go right into basic squats. Okay, let's go down to the ground for sit-ups. So I'm guessing fall break's probably not an option for a lot of you, so just sit down nice and easy. So with some basic stuff for lower abs. A lot of you know this routine, but let's give it a shot. So the palms are gonna use, uh, be there for support. I'm gonna start with my legs locked, bring the knees straight up and down. Try to do about 10 seconds each of these. Let's go knees into chest. Let's go forward bicycles. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Reverse directions, spin backwards. So float your hands, float your legs. I'm going to squeeze my knees into my chest. Let them go out long, just barely touch the ground. I bring everything back in nice and tight. Let's try one more. This will be a nice good stretch. Okay, so again, any of these you can just keep going and, and uh, you know, <laughs> go at your own pace. I'm going to sit all the way back. Hands are going to touch the ground. I'm going to sit all the way up. Reach forward, touch my toes. As I fall back, let everything come up together. Back down. Try to get a little bit of a stretch in your back. Using your core, using your toes and hands to touch on the second one. So two more. Great, let's try some push-ups. So again, be careful about furniture. If you have the ability to roll over, it goes to the side, leg over leg. So keeping your posture very straight on the back, I try to keep my head in alignment. Palms are flat, shoulders are stacked above the wrist. Nice and easy, just start to lower. Press the ground away. Keep your eye line forward so you can keep your nice straight back. Breathe. Keep moving. Legs open your hands apart, legs open the feet too, to get a wider foundation. Another option, open your feet, open your hands, dive through, and push your hips back up high. It's a little bit strenuous on certain shoulders, if you have any issues, be careful. Open five. If you need a water, take it real quick. Let's go back into round two. If we start from the beginning, let's talk about basic step, where your hands should be, where your legs should be, and why, if you have questions, okay? So first of all, my feet are the same feet, same size that I use for stepping, for walking forward, for walking from left to right, from right to left, I do the same step that you have been doing all your life. If you want a larger step, then increase the step. But do not 
open your legs more. There's no necessity in that. Now, you're just going to become less comfortable moving. Left hand sits slightly higher, still with the elbow completely down, protecting my body. Palm is open. Right hand sits protecting my body on the other side, slightly lower in my face and slightly closer to me. Knees are slightly bent, never locked. Weight is distributed 50-50. My chin is low. My forehead is looking forward. The reason for your hands open and not closed is because what we exercise is self-defense. And your goal will be always not to fight if you can. If you would stand in a hostile situation, closing your hands, you already engaged in a fight. If you open your hand, at least you look nicer. That doesn't mean that you're not engaged, but you just look slightly less, less threatening to the guy in front of you. And you can handle this conversation. Please, sir, relax. Much more comfortably than, please, sir, relax. Not to mention, that when your hands are open, you have actually a lot more weapons available to you because you might not be able to knock, to knock out a six-foot man with a punch in the face. But if you'll be able to shove a finger inside his eye, you'll be able to make a lot of damage. Therefore, it's not even necessary to lock yourself into one single weapon. So one more time. This is basic standing. And you should stand comfortable. If we're talking about basic stand, let's continue to talk forward about your jab. Your jab will come from your left hand. And I mentioned to you, it's got to start open. However, since it is a punch, you'll have to pay a lot of attention to keep that hand safe if you make contact. And therefore, you should make contact with your big knuckles only those knuckles. That means that your hand cannot be protruding downward. You will hurt your, your wrist. They cannot be upward. You'll hit with your fingers. It cannot be turned in one direction because you're going to hit with the small joints. it got to be leading to the big knuckles. Those two fingers of the big knuckles will be protected with the thumb from the bottom and all of this structure will be closed tight enough so blood will have to retrieve to your hand as you open your hand. The hand will be closed as you're going out. You're going to have to drive your elbow, your, your shoulder. You're going to have to drive your knuckle forward towards your target, maintaining your elbow low, rotating that elbow on impact, still providing protection to your face, still maintaining your forehead forward, Still having the ability to raise your left hand shoulder to protect your chin on the other side, and with all of it, to still be able to bring your hand back open to your face. It needs to be done with speed, it needs to be done with power, and therefore there will be weight distribution as well that moves behind the punch. This is a jab. <clears throat> <clears throat> Slowly, one, 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 one. Okay, so let's do it together. Come on, Adam, let's punch with us. Come on. Get yourself comfortable. Keep your distance. Oh, we keep our distance. Huh? 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 Yeah. In basic stand, just jab. Ready? And one, he, one, he. One, eight, one. One, 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 one. Let's increase power. One, this, 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 one, this. 
Let's talk about a cross. Or you might punch. Some people will argue that this will be the most important thing to teach as a first motion for self-defense. From your basic stand, your right hand to the rear, your heel is up. As you throw this hand up, out, the hand itself is going to be led by the knuckles, by the impact. Therefore, that's the place that's going to be driven forward first, as, as if your hip propelling the elbow forward. The head is going to continue elbow down, make contact, and rotate on impact. The whole hip will be delivering weight forward. Therefore, your back foot will even move forward somewhat in order to deliver more of your body weight towards the punch. Your left hand is going to come from the far position towards your face, sit by your body, and protect you. The next thing that is important for you to realize is as you're throwing that right punch, you could miss, and as you're missing, you actually exposed your liver. That means that as the, the hip propels the elbow up, the hip will also carry the elbow back in, and it needs to be done in a smooth motion. So one more time, here is your cross. So come on, Adam. let's do a couple of punches with these guys. Get off your couch now that you understood that. Put your hands up. See if you can see them. Start slowly. And one, hey, one, hey, one, hey, one, hey, one, hey. Knuckles from here. It is one, 
Tomorrow, when we come back, let's try and put these punches into a little bit of combinations. Okay? Great job, by the way. Thank you so much.